Today I have Steve, KO4 Alpha Foxtrot Leva coming on and he's going to help me to figure out how to submit the logs from Hammers all the way to um, Poda. We're going to look at the logs to make sure they're correct because um, I, I, I messed something up somewhere. I don't know. I just want to make sure they're right. So Steve or someone else over there at the Poda site will go through and just upload them. They're clean and there's no angry email back to Frank on Tank Radio. Play that awesome intro video steve man thank you for coming on i appreciate your help in this what i did already with the um, link i put it in the description i downloaded ada remaster and that is adif and i also exported the logs and um and there's probably popping up the screen right now showing you how I exported them through my phone. I did it through Google Drive, and that was pretty much the easiest. The other ways that you can also send them directly through the email if you are a pro at this. I'm not. But if you are, you can go ahead and go ahead and do that. I did it through Google Drive so I could download them on my computer and we can use Remaster to take a look at them. So, Steve, man, um, let's go ahead and open up one of these babies and see what we got. So yep. I have four logs. This is from okay. the trip that we just taken to California. One of these is a Poda logs or need to be transferred to Poda logs. They're soda logs. And we need to uh, re-edit the ADA file to make sure it's a photo so I can submit to you um, two places. Well, first things off, what do you notice that i done wrong already? Yeah, you've got the date and then the park number and no call sign. Yeah, I forgot the format and that was just the one I made up really fast. So let's go ahead and fix that. So what's uh, it's supposed to be first? Call sign. Kilo Golf 5 Alpha Hotel Juliet. At... And then kilo. Cut that part. Yep. Kilo. Dash. Uh-huh. Park number. Yep. Uh-huh. Dash. Four-digit um, year. Four so 2021. Okay. Two-digit month. Two-digit month. Oh nine. And then two-digit day. And that was the 10th, I believe, is what you deleted. Yeah. September 10th. This is European format. Yep. Why? Because... I wish I had an answer for you. <laughs> okay. So let me go ahead and fix the rest of these really fast. And time magic happens. While I'm fixing this, why mm -hmm. uh, uh, dashes and the at symbol? That's kind of unusual. It is very unusual. Um, it has something to do with how they've programmed the back end. When I get a bunch of logs, it makes it real easy for me. Mm -hmm. Because I've got some people that will send me 16 logs at a shot. Well, I download them all before I upload any of them because mm -hmm. they come into my email. Well, that way they're all in order when I go to the downloads folder to then upload the log. I don't have to go searching, you know, because they're all in the same format. And it allows me to upload one person's log in order because it's all their call sign, you know, then followed by park numbers. Okay. I, I so. can understand that. If it's all the same, then like you said, it's the ordering. You can grab the top bundle and just upload really fast. Yep. All right. So here's the first one. And in Ada Master, I have open right now. We fixed the file name. Well, we're seeing it's pretty much a giant spreadsheet. Well, not a giant spreadsheet, a mini spreadsheet. And we got the call sign here, what park we're at. I'm just looking for what could be wrong. How about the signature field? What is the signature field? So SIG info is your park to park field. Mm -hmm. So that was the park they were at. So you need a K dash. And I, I'm not 100% sure that that really matters mm -hmm. i know it looks at both logs to match it mm -hmm. formatting may matter there but i don't think it does you know never hurts to have it capitalized <laughs> so. i agree um I, I just didn't know how touchy the database was because um, when i was entering them i was kind of being a little lazy and just trying to get the numbers right because that's what mm -hmm. it was more important to me at the time right. um, instead of getting the kilo and the dash because I was on the mobile device because you got to I love the app I love hammers I, it's just a little nitpick here on the mobile app when you're doing you yes need a bluetooth keyboard, need a bluetooth keyboard. <laughs> you, you they're hit cheap K 
<laughs> then you got to hit the symbols, then you hit the dash, then you hit the numbers, then you hit the the numbers yep. again. So just a nitpick. So this one looks fine. Nope. Nope. What else nope. is wrong? So you're missing your mode. Missing my mode. I need a mode column? You do. Okay. So the easy way to do that in ADF Master mm -hmm. is actually under Tools. Tools. Add QSO manually. Add QSO manually. And just put a and blank then, one? Yeah. Um, and then select your mode. And just type in or uh, hit the drop down for SSB. Will it take that? Add there QSO? All so, right. uh, throw a time off. Five in there, nine, yeah. five nine. Nope. There it band. goes. Look at that band. Okay. I'm assuming these are all mostly fields. There, there we go. go. Okay. Okay. So now you can just copy that SSB and paste it in each one. And hit your down arrow and paste. And then clear out that last QSO. Is there an easy way to do that? Uh, no, no. Um, hit your delete key. There you go. So if you hit the number and hit delete, it clears the whole field. Yep. Cool. And when I say hit the number, I mean, if you right click on that number and then hit delete, it clears everything out. Okay. All right. So you've, safe. you've got your band, your mm -hmm. call, your mode, your park number mm -hmm. and any park to parks you had mm -hmm. and your time. So, yeah, as long as your QSO date's not blank, you know, you should be good there. Okay. So save that one. So this one is missing mode again. Yep. So we're going to do the same thing. Add QSO manually. Again, right click. Okay, so you're missing your band on that one as well. Yeah. I don't think I knew about that field as I was doing it in Hammers. You don't have a frequency in there. Do you remember what band you guys were on for that? Uh, delete's not working this time. I think we were on 20 or 40. We're usually on 20 most of the time. Okay. Does it need an M? Yes, it does. Technically, it's supposed to be uppercase, right? I want to say it does on lowercase in hammers. Let me look. Yeah, hammers does lowercase. I had to go look at one of my longs. Because, <laughs> yes, I use hammers. It's a great app. There's only a few nitpicks that we um, can get them to fix. All right. Everything else looks good here. Okay. Uh, you've got your dates. You've got your times. Band, mode, call. Yep. Awesome. Because so, frequency is not required. Frequency. Just the band. Let's go save that one. So this one has more information on it. I think I was connected to the internet this time. Yeah, you had cell service at that park. But again, you missed your mode. Uh, how about frequency? You have frequency on that one. I, didn't I see frequency? I have yeah. You ha Well, you have the Oh, column, it's at the it's top blank. band. Yeah. Okay, okay. So we're doing it again. Tools, add QSO manually. I'm sorry, guys. The camera's there. My screen's over here. <laughs> okay. okay. And then save that one. Next, we're going to need to open up our email browser and upload them. All right, uploaded those. And we're going to send it to um, starting with a K. No. Yep. Yes. Yes. So not Jason now. <laughs> right. You <laughs> would normally you would send it to K5 Five. At, mm -hmm. at Parks on the Air. Mm -hmm. but, but you're going to send these straight to me so I can make sure they upload. Thank you. And send but so um, you're supposed to send the logs to kilo then whatever region you're in for my instance it'll be five mm -hmm. what was the rest of that at parks on the air.com so just this k k and region that this two digits k yep region five at parks on the air.com correct dot com okay that one didn't give me any errors woot Tank radio for the win! Woo! Park 71. That was just the upload side. And let me go and process them. Mm-hmm. And see what happens. 
First one's good. Oh, you had a duplicate in there on uh, Park 71. I saw that in Hammers, but I already had 14 contacts, so I should still be good for activating. You are. Um, you get credit for 13. Yep. So, but in an instance where I only had 10 contacts and there's a dupe, you will not get credit for activating. It, it's a failed activation. Oh. So all four of your logs uploaded and processed without any errors. Yes. Success. You are good to go, sir. Awesome. Thank you, uh, Steve, for uh, taking the time to uh, walk me through that and make sure that all the logs were uploaded correctly. I hope that helped you out there in uh, YouTube land. And uh, Steve, do you want to promote anything that you have going on on your channel? Now is your time. Tuesday nights, Ham Radio Clubhouse. You know, that's what I'm going to promote right now. Um, I may have a new antenna that I'm playing with this weekend. So look for me on the post. Well, by the time you see this, I will have already been out there. I'm not going to do a video on the antenna because everybody else has already done the video, but I may do a POTA video. So that may be coming up. Gotten a new antenna from Chris and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> so. I heard about some sharing going on. Mm. Awesome. We are looking forward to it. So thank you for everyone who joined us. Thank you to all my Patreon supporters. You can support me on Patreon. There is a link in the description below. And to all my tankers out there, go forth and conquer.